This is Bishop Elvin B. Thompson with the Keep the Fire Burning podcast. Sit back and relax as we stir up the gift that is in you. Earlier this week, I was uh, messaging with one of my young ministers, one of my spiritual sons, and he was asking me a question concerning uh, the test that God gave unto the patriarch Abraham. If you're not familiar with the test that Abraham had, it's found right there in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 22. There in Genesis chapter 22, let me give you a brief synopsis of it if you don't mind. God says to Abraham, he says, I want you to take your son, Isaac, your only son, and I want you to go up to a mountain that I'm going to show you. And there I want you to offer Isaac as a sacrifice unto me. There you're going to offer Isaac as a burnt offering unto me. Now, that seems like a strange request from God to me, but Abraham, without batting an eye, just said, yes, Lord. Abraham got up, grabbed his son, took a couple of his servants with him, and there and off they went up the mountain. As they're moving up the mountain, they get to a certain place, and Abraham then says to his servants, y'all just stay here and chill for a little while. Me and the boy, we're going to go on up the mountain because we got some business with God, but then we will return after we finish. His servants remain there. Abraham and Isaac continue up the mountain. As they are continuing up the mountain, they see a place where there's the fire and the wood. And Isaac looks up at his dad and with his inquisitive self, just like children often are. And he says to his father, he says, Dad, I see the fire and I see the wood. He says, I just need to know where is the offering? Where is the sacrifice? Once again, without bad an eye. Abraham looks down at his son and he says to his son, it's going to be all right. God will provide. Abraham and Isaac continue up the mountain. When they finally get to the top of the mountain or what we call the summit, once they reach the summit of the mountain, Abraham there begins to build a altar. And not only is he building the altar, but think about this. He has his son with him. So his son is helping him to build the altar. His son is helping him to build the altar where he is supposed to be sacrificed. After this altar is built, Abraham then takes his son, he binds him up, probably with tears in his eyes, he lays him upon the altar that they have just built. Abraham takes out the sacrificial knife, he pulls it back with tears in his eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and he's ready to do it as he's getting ready to come down with the knife and offer his son as God has requested of him. God speaks out of heaven and he says to Abraham, Abraham, don't do your boy any harm, it's all right, it, it, take, put your knife up. Abraham puts his knife up, he looks around, he looks around because he knows a sacrifice has got to be made and if he's not going to use his son, then God has to be providing something somewhere. Abraham looks around and there's a ram in the bush. His horns have been caught in the bushes. There in the bush, God has provided. God has provided a ram. There in the bush, God has a, uh, a ram waiting for him. There in the bush. Abraham then takes the ram. He takes the ram, places the ram on the altar, binds him up, and there he sacrifices the ram instead of his son. He and his son Isaac worships God. And then around verse 14, you'll find these words uh, that uh, Abraham calls the name of the place that they are at, Jehovah Jireh. The name Jehovah Jireh, ladies and gentlemen, means God will provide or God is my provider. Abraham calls the name of the place where God provided the ram instead of his son. The name of that place now is called Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. And ladies and gentlemen, after I thought about that story the other day, I thought for just a brief moment to myself, what if God didn't provide? What if God didn't come through? What if God is not faithful? What if God did not make a way? What if God does not make a way? What if God is not faithful to his promise? What if God doesn't say do what he said? What if God is not on time? And after thinking about that thing for just a brief moment, I thought to myself, stop tripping. I said, man, stop tripping. You know God always comes through. You know God always provides. I said to myself the other day, tell you, Elvin, when was there a time when God didn't come through? Elvin, when was there a time when God didn't make a way? Elvin, when was there a time when God wasn't faithful? When was there a time when God was ever late? When was there ever a time when God did not keep his promise? I said, Elvin, you better stop tripping. God always provides. 
And that's what I want to offer you to you all today on our podcast. I want you to know that you may be going through and you may be facing some of your toughest tests in life right now, maybe with the pandemic and maybe with the issue concerning racism that is happening all over America right now. Maybe it's almost too much for you to bear. Maybe some of you have dealt with loss and you've dealt with grief in the midst of this virus, in the midst of this pandemic. Maybe some of you have dealt with the loss of jobs, loss of income, loss of friends during the midst of the, throughout the midst of this pandemic. And you're thinking to yourself, it's too much. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, maybe this time God won't come through. Maybe this time God won't make a way. Maybe this time God will not keep his promise. Maybe this time God is too late. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told myself the other day. And that is this right here. Stop tripping. Stop tripping because you know God always provides. I don't care what you're going through, what you're dealing with today. And I know you have questions of what if, but I want you to erase that what if. And I want you to remind yourself not to trip because you know God is faithful, that God is just, and that God always keeps his promise. You can depend on Jesus. So my last words to you is this. Stop tripping. God always provides. The name of the place that you stand is Jehovah Jireh. God will provide.